Hello everyone, welcome to my channel 1M90 and this is Amit. So this video is in continuation with my earlier Facebook Graph API tutorial series. In this video, we shall see how do we upload images and videos to the user's timeline using Facebook's Graph API. If you have not seen my earlier video of implementing the login with Facebook functionality, then I would suggest you to stop here, go and watch that video first. Because I have explained a step-by-step -step procedure of setting up the app and generating the access token. So where the access token is necessary for any API requests that we make to Facebook. I will be dropping the link in my the link to my earlier video in the description below. So without wasting much time, let's get started. So if you are aware, earlier we had created the index.php, the login callback.php the post to facebook.php so basically the index.php was the initial uh, you know landing page that we had created and login callback was you know in order to um, go ahead and access the user profile uh, the user's public profile and display the uh, uh, display the the whole object of the user that whatever is retrieved from the facebook so this is related to that and after that we had you know in in my second video so we had uh, created a page called post photo dot p uh, sorry that's not post photo it's post to fp dot php wherein i showed you how do we post the links basically how do you post the urls uh, to the user's timeline so in this particular video it's basically how do we post photos as well as videos so it's i have it's basically the same setup the same thing so i have just modified this particular post url so that earlier it was uh, post to fb.php so now it's post photo.php so in this particular post photo.php what we are trying to do is basically we are creating the same fb object and we are setting the session loading uh, the auto load.php uh, and after that so we are you know this is the data that we are preparing so basically it's, it's a hard coded data for now but you know you can uh, customize it to your uh, as per your needs basically you can uh, use a uh, you, you know use the data from your database or wherever it's i mean say be it the config files constants files anywhere so this is uh, the message and uh, so this data parameter takes two variables i mean uh, one is a message and the other is a source so this source is basically this is a uh, you know facebook object and then uh, we are calling a method called file to upload so in that we are passing a parameter which is a path of the uh, image file basically we'll be seeing the image how do we upload the image first and then we shall move to video so make sure that this particular path is right so cur currently this is the same root directory i mean same directory so you can see it here where is it yeah so this is the image that i'm trying to upload this is one of my uh, favorite captures uh, so this is what we're trying to upload uh, over facebook and then uh, this is a try catch block wherein uh, we use the Facebook's post uh, method and you see here the first parameter says me slash photos so which means that you know you're trying to post the photo using I mean from to your I mean you're you're trying to post the photos in your timeline to your timeline so and you pass the data object that you have prepared and with that you will have to pass the access token so this access token i guess you might have uh, you know you might recall that we have uh, you know created the access token as soon as we logged in and we have set it in the session uh, so once this is done so you try it and if there is any kind of exceptions that are ought to be caught so we'll be catching those exceptions over here so if not then uh, you know it will get successfully posted and it returns the graph node object so this graph node object has the ID of the photo that is being posted. So this is uh, this is a simple uh, you know simple script you know which posts the uh, image to Facebook. So now let's see how does it work. So basically even this uh, so I forgot to tell you that even this particular post uh, posting of photos and videos also uh, you know it works with the same permission that we gave earlier like it's a publish underscore actions that we already have given. So it's over here so this 
this is the same permission that we need to uh, you know that we need to uh, give access to so let's see how does it work so this is the initial index.php and now I'll click on login with Facebook so it hopefully it will log me in yeah it did so this is I mean it logged me in so now so if you can see this is the login callback.php so this is this is the link that I had given post image on Facebook so that is what is here and this is the whole response that I have printed out whatever is you know written from the uh, the graph API of get graph user method so now what I'll do is I'll click so before that let's log into Facebook with some dummy account so now what I'll do is so you can see there is uh, there is no photo right so just want to uh, double check that so now what I'll do is I'll say I'll click on this post image on Facebook so if it gets successfully executed it should return the post ID I mean the photo ID so it did return the photo ID now what we can do is let us refresh this page there you go this is how it is so you post the photo and whatever the message that was entered over here post photo.php the beautiful kitty so that appears over here and the cat.jpg which is this particular photo that's got posted to your timeline so this is how you uh, basically post a photo so now uh, so I guess this is pretty clear right so there is nothing special about you know there is no, this is not a rocket science so just I, I'll not be sharing the source code as I had mentioned in my earlier video so in case if you need do let me know uh, so that I can send it to your email so if, if the requests are more then I'll be you know posting it uh, over github repository uh, so now without wasting much time let's get started with the video upload so let me comment this so the, so, so the only difference is you can see it here so the method that we are using so he, earlier we were using a file to upload now we are using the method to upload I mean video to upload so and this I mean this took the message so now this will be taking the title and the description both so we have three parameters I mean uh, this data is defined with three indexes of an array in an array so one is the title description and the source right so this small dot mp4 I mean again this is this is a path of your particular video that you are trying to upload so even this is in same root directory so this is the video I mean it's, it's also basically it's a it doesn't open up in sublime so if you want let me just show you that so this is the video that I'm trying to upload right so let's see okay so I have uncommented this so now if you can see earlier we were using while posting the photos we were using me slash photos but now you would be using me slash videos and then the access token so let me just copy paste the session access token that we generated and we are passing the data as is so I think uh, yeah so this is pretty much it right let's see if I have not missed anything all right I think this should work let's see so let's head back to browser let me refresh this so I'll hit login with Facebook I think I didn't click it it locked it got clicked now so I'm logged in I have not changed the link guys so uh, actually the link is post image on Facebook but actually we are performing posting we are actually posting a video that that's uh, pretty much understood so let me click on this
it's loading great i think it did work let's see i don't think it worked for some other the reason oh my goodness it did work look here so the title my foo video this is the my foo video title so this is a description this video is full of foo and bar action so uh, small dot mp4 is our video basically so and you know you can see it so we just posted it uh yeah so that's pretty much it and i hope you guys like this video i hope you did enjoy this so it's pretty simple i think this will be this will be my last video of this particular facebook uh, uh, graph api tutorial series because basically we'll be doing only these things basically you know log in with facebook then post links to facebook and upload the videos and photos uh, if you guys you know need anything else apart from all these apart from the things that i have covered so you can just you know give uh, give the suggestions in the comment box below so that i can cover that in my next video if required if not then i think this will probably be my last video related to this facebook tutorial series uh, great then so if you guys have any questions do let me know in the comment section below uh, signing off till my next video guys thanks a lot for watching cheers